Max, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And Stephen A., I, I say you this. First off, you know, it, it's so much coming into league has to deal with who's on the staff, what environment you're in in order to be conducive to you growing as a player. And Max, to harp upon your point about Mark Jackson, I, I think, granted, Mark Jackson has some issues with ownership, but Mark Jackson, and people can get into his X's and O's, but from a basketball, strictly just building perspective, like he did wonders for this team. Their staff did wonders for Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. And first off, like, let's, let's remember that draft when Stephen Curry got drafted in 2009. Like, David Kahn, the GM of the Minnesota Timberwolves, took Johnny Flynn over Stephen Curry, okay? So first off, the fact that regardless of whether Bob Myers wanted to trade them or not, like the first two years, like these guys were in the league, like they were good, but nobody thought, even watching Stephen Curry in college, like nobody thought Stephen Curry was gonna be a top 20 greatest player of all time. Like, and I, I'm, I'm saying that now that he is, because I think shooting puts him in that category and his field goal percentages from, from three and the field state that for him. Nobody thought that at that original time. So I give them a lot of credit for finding them first off and then harnessing that talent and allowing them an environment conducive to letting them play that way. Because if they go to another situation, look, and I'm not comparing my, my career to Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson's because it's nowhere a comparison. I'm just comparing coming into the league. Coming into the league for me, I came from a pick and roll environment. I played the same way Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson were playing the first time they came into the league with Mark Jackson. But when I came into the league, I had to run the triangle. The triangle was something completely different. So the system wasn't conducive to me elevating my style of play. So Stephen A, to act like that wasn't the case for these guys and to say just any environment, they would have just been winners. No, they were groomed to be in this position. Now, well, granted, I'm not taking anything away from them. They capitalized on that and they ran away with it, but it still had to be in position well, for them to to accomplish that in the first place. Well, 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 first of all, I would appreciate it if you're going to come at me at the least have the decency to quote me accurately. I didn't sit up there and say, you know what, they're walking into a situation in any kind of system. That's it. What I'm saying is, excuse me, they're the greatest shooting backcourt in the history of basketball. Max and Jay, are they going to be the only two on the court? Or do you have to th put three other players with them on the court at the same time? I don't think you're allowed to play two-on-five basketball in the NBA. I'm making the assumption that the other pieces on the court could be found. When I look at a Pippen and a, and a Jordan, don't I'm not comparing the two. But when I look at a Pippen or a Jordan, or I look at a Shaq and a Kobe, I believe they would have won titles. That doesn't take anything away from Phil Jackson. We know that Phil Jackson is arguably the greatest coach ever. He's won 11 titles. But I don't hear anybody looking at a Jordan and a Pippen and saying, excuse me, if it wasn't for Phil Jackson, they would have never won. If it wasn't for the triangle, Clay, they would have never won. You're making – you're. I, I, I just finished Steven saying it. that's not what I'm saying. What I said was – if you're looking at Phil Jackson, of course you're not taking anything away from him, but you're recognizing the fact that if I have two great components, do I have faith that most organizations would be able to find pieces to put around the greatest shooting backcourt in the history of that's, basketball, particularly when the NBA were the greatest the shooting back and they weren't the greatest the shooting backcourt yes, back in 2008. They weren't the greatest shooting backcourt back then. They weren't the we're not talking 2011. Then, we're saying Jay, we're not Jay talking, talking 2011. About we're you're saying, saying what they have won. Hold on, Jay. We're saying what Jay, they have let's won. Let's assume that they would have been. Not 2011. Let's assume, let's assume they would have been the greatest. Let's assume they would have been the greatest backcourt, Stephen A. I'll take your assumption. That is what we're arguing about. We're arguing about the quality of Steph plus Clay and whether that is so give you such a premium over any two comp, any other kind of pair in the league that you're assured a championship because you could find the right pieces around them. As great as those two are, they're not Jordan and Pippen. They're not Shaq and Kobe. They're something lesser than that. So that's what we're arguing. I don't think it's just so easy that you can assume that because you have the greatest shooting backcourt ever, you're going to win a championship because you'll figure it out. No, no, no. That's assuming a whole lot. And, in fact, they didn't but become the Jay. dominant championship team until they got KD. But Max and, and Jay. Max and Jay, be clear. I'm a believer Max, that add, back in quick, the Max, day, they would not have won. They, when I'm talking about today's game, mm. how soft it is. Those two shooters, hell yeah. Hell yeah.
Who knows if Steph and Clay would have even been together if they had came to New Orleans? Nobody was saying that Dell Dempsey was going to keep those two together. Let's remember they were trying to get a trade for Chris Paul. Like nobody was saying like, hey, they were trying to get Chris Paul out of there almost in exchange for those two. So it's not like Dell Dempsey was like, oh, that this wasn't is going to be the, the greatest back backcourt ever in the history of the game. That, that. Okay. Okay. Would they have had the same success had Good they been point. someplace Speaks other than Golden it. State? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.